Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Good morning from the Durak River so we got in here about 5.30 last night and the sun had set so we just um, had a nice sunset to look at as we were rolling in. Um, that was a bloody rough day, rough track, far out. That's the roughest we've been on with the car and caravan. And we got some damage, I don't think you can do the Gibb River Road without sustaining some sort of damage and parked up and this is what we found left of our uh, electronic stability control plug so I'm going to try and fix that this morning the drain valve on the front uh, water tank is, was busted off by a rock at some stage yesterday I'm not too worried about that I'm going to get a, um, a new valve in uh, at Bunnings in Kantanara so we just do a bit of maintenance today I'm going to blow all the filters out, the car air filter, the caravan air filter, have a go at this, it's filthy, it's been working hard, so yeah, she's just chockers full of red dust. Uh, we had a little bit of dust inside, uh, which was, I think unavoidable, yeah, I think it was unavoidable because of that you know, humongous bulldust hole that we hit, jeez, it was, it was thick talcum powder dust so it gets in everywhere anyway this is us on the Jurak River pretty nice the river's down there not gonna head down for a swim don't know what the state of it is whether there is freshies in there um, or not but we just um, kind of finish up some schoolwork finish a bit of maintenance around here and then hit the road we've only got a hunt or 98 k's today on the same crap road so we just got to take it easy if I can't fix this ESC plug but um should be able to jimmy something up it's just another it's just a random Anderson plug so let's get into it if I will ever figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my heart Lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even the sky is falling down Alright, so I can't fix the ESC it is what it is I don't have a spare red Anderson plug so We'll just take it easy and Just drive to, to um conditions and take it a bit uh, slower. Um, might set the GoPro up inside the caravan to see how it travels today, just for a different perspective. Up the top of some range, don't know what it's called, and there's a um, cracking lookout. Have a check as of this. 
So, you got a mighty Pentecost River all the way over there and runs all the way down there. I think the Pentecost water, uh, River Crossing is uh, down that way somewhere. Because you always see that iconic shot of um, people going through the Pentecost River with those mountains in the backdrop. And that'll be us in about 10 minutes. Another Gibb River Road breakage. And this one's a bit more of a challenge to fix. Have a look at this. <clears throat> the old exhaust ain't supposed to look like that. <laughs> So, that's another weld failure. The exhaust pipe off the back of the um, muffler. So, we'll try and cable tie the bejesus out of it up and see if we can get rolling again. Well, I fixed it. I bushed fixed the bejesus out of it. Check it out. Brainwave though. Yeah, bloody good idea Rhonda's come up with that bike uh, chain. And Letitia led me down the right path with the clothesline. Yeah, the plastic might melt but that don't matter. Thanks pit crew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we're all fixed. Well, it's tied up and it's safe to travel. But um, you definitely know it's a V8 now. <laughs> it's got its own little dump pipe. Bloody ear is coming. Let's flash it up for the people. Ready? Listen to this. Oh, yeah. We've reached the Pentecost. So, mm -hmm. The water's actually pretty low at the moment, so it's going to be an easy crossing. Pentecost crossed. Boom. Tickle. Welcome to the Pentecost River Lower Camp. I think it's called on Wiki Camps. Okay. Yeah, so you can see the crossing's just over there. And um, yeah, we're not that far. We've got the river right there, which is 
beautiful and inviting, but I don't want to swim in it because it might be full of snapping handbags. Hmm, don't know. I think people have seen it have done before in the rocks. When did you do the crossing? Yeah. Yeah, so it's hard to tell. There's been some traffic going across the Pentecost. I've seen about 10 or 12 cars and caravans going across already. Mm. Including the Uber influencers, Trip in a Van. So that's the second time this year we've seen them. Mm -hmm. So we got a nice cruisy afternoon here today and then tomorrow we've only got about a 50k drive into El Cuestro. And apparently, looking on Wikicams, we've only got about 20 k's left of corrugations. And then it's back to the bitumen, which we are hanging for. Mm. So can't take any more damage at the moment. No. Between okay. the car and the van, we need something to do in our favour. Yeah, so a bit of a damage update. We've got um, one of the um, electric brake cables to the... Um, caravan brakes has been severed, so it's one wheel that's not doing any braking. I wasn't able to fix the ESC um, plug, so that's another defect. And we've got the muffler <laughs> and exhaust on the car. So. And the tap on the water tank. Yeah. All in all, we've got out of it pretty, pretty decent. Hopefully someone at El Cuestro can weld and we'll be able to just weld the exhaust up. Otherwise it's a very noisy, loud trip into Kananara. Mm. And they'll hear us coming. Anyway, I'll show you a bit around the uh, campsite and um, we'll check in later. Bloody donkey in the middle of the road. Oh, good morning from El Cuestro Station. Morning. We got in oh, yesterday. I don't know what time. Uh, but by the time we finished setting up, 10. yeah, by the time we finished setting up, it was 38 degrees and we were just frazzled. And the SD card was full. Have a look at this guy. Or girl. It's a girl. Yeah, that's yeah. It's a sad one. Get out of the way, dopey. <laughs> She's like... Look. Poor little donkey. It's my station. Beat it, bloody visitors. <laughs> we're at Equestro now, so we're going to go out to Emma Gorge today and have a bit of an explore around there. Mm-hmm. Leaving a little bit, uh, we're leaving early ish, but probably too late to do anything extreme today. It's already 30 degrees and it's only 8 30. So, yeah, hot. Bit of a walk, bit of a swim. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So, how, how far is it? 
3.2Ks. Right, eh? Return. Return. Nah. Ooh. Oh, it's yeah. easy. K and a half in. Right, eh? They say class four. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, the highest level of class four. <laughs> it's quite a scramble. Oh yeah, she's a rock scramble and a half. It's all doable. It's all fun. Emma Gorge, done. Check. <laughs> um, beautiful, absolutely stunning. About a 2k walk in. Pretty hectic at times, but Letitia did it easy, so uh, well worth the effort. It's a really beautiful spot at the end for a swim. Mm. And even little people got through, little yeah. tiny kids, so they'd be on stacked mum or dad's shoulders but they got through so don't be balked by it if you've got little kids it's definitely doable but it's very nice beautiful we're at a Cresto gorge i'm noodle girl today got my noodle handbag oh well, it feels like a handbag what are you laughing at i've got it on like a handbag Oh no, let's go. We're off. Goal is to get to the end, halfway pool, and we'll see how we go. Heading off and just about just after 8 30 quarter nine or something and uh, we'll see what happens okay.
okay we're straight into gorge like conditions but at the moment it's nice and shady this is different from yesterday because we're straight into some sort of palms and stuff which is quite nice the water beyond there the other two are walking up ahead trying to scare each other can't say I've seen a lot of tropical palm trees in a gorge it's bloody beautiful starts going around and then um, we should encounter the middle pool soon. But it's stunning. As far as gorges go. And it's you know just twice the height of carriage any ones. I mean look at this. pristine water mm. perfectly uh, landscaped and manicured <laughs> nature's landscape and doing a bloody good job I think the humidity has gone up a few percent oh, it might be cooler in here but it's a thousand percent humidity the nature's air conditioning is not working that well yeah. oh we've got a halfway pool coming up I we'll have to jump in cool down I think We made it through the rock or over the boulder scramble. I'm sure it looks really dignified too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got the job done. Off to the falls. Whew. What a bloody go at it. She is a proper rock scramble here, this track. There's a ribbon. Yeah. 
we can get up here. She won hell of a track. Oh, she's a class five, all right? Let's check what's up this way. We can't be that far away, can we? Plotting. Mm -hmm. Then you push yourself up. Yeah. Work. <laughs> this thing just uh, keeps on throwing challenge after challenge. What a bloody go what we got to get through now. Friggin' hell. Yeah, getting wet again. We're still trucking along here. She's hard work. Next challenge, we're gonna climb up a bloody waterfall. Can you do it? We must be getting close to the end. It's an incredible adventure. Good job scaling that, darling. Gorge. Hey. We're done. Walking back now, 4K. Probably take us about three and a half hours. <laughs>
see she's uh, trying to get the nails out of her horseshoe. All right. Last morning at El Questro. I'm going to start packing up back here and get rolling. station done right out of there this morning and um, we're just in the process of airing up well Rhonda's in the process of airing up <laughs> because we're back to the bitumen which is bloody amazing so we'll finish off the Gibb River Road this morning get to the intersection get some photos at the sign and that'll be the end of it yes Nothing I can't do. To get River Road! <laughs> we have. We did. We completed the Gibb River Road. We did. Woohoo! Woohoo! Don't ever take me on a dirt road again. I oh, know. <laughs> We're sort of corrugation fatigue now, but hell of an adventure. The gorges were amazing. El Cuestro is amazing. It's um, definitely a bucket list item. Yeah. Big Gibb River Road tick. Tick. Now Thanks for watching. That's the end of this episode. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah.